Guys, that's a late breaking addition. I don't think we've even had in the vlog yet what went down with Kirby Doo's Christmas wish list. Hello and good morning everyone. I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed today. I woke up and got ready before the kids woke up. It's off to a good start today. Yes, Hazy has school today and I kind of think that her outfit is like probably the cutest thing I've ever seen and I wish that everything that she had in her closet, I wish I had in my closet. I think that we should show everyone. Do you think we should show everyone? Oh my stars. This is like one of my favorite coats, which is funny because I'm not really a corduroy lover, but I love this coat on you. And, and it has matching shoes, but today we went with these shoes because they match the skirt, but the shoelaces match. Uh -huh. And your shirt underneath matches everything. You just look so beautiful. Tell me about this. This, yeah, I ran them all on the girl papa pigs, and they're kind of cute on them. They're really cute. This one, yeah, this is a twisty loop. Oh, you put Anna in some Play-Doh, huh? Yeah. It's like she's wearing like an inner tube so she can go swimming. Yeah, and this is Elsa. Oh, I called her Anna, huh? Her name is Elsa, sorry. Yeah, and I did a twisty loop. She looks really cute. Yeah. Before school. We were for real doing this. Yeah, for real. So let's read it to them, okay? This is called New Socks, and Hazy wants to read it to you. The words that we're working on are want and new. I want new socks. Good job. Six. Mm. New socks. New socks. Wow. Wow. You guys, Hazy just read her whole <laughs> book for you and finished it. She's working on sight words at school, the sounds that every letter makes, which she's really gotten that down. Well, so this is she's doing a awesome. book, but I'm almost to the end of my school and then I get a TEFL kit. Yeah, and then you get and, a certificate, huh? When you graduate. Uh -huh. And and I get a bigger book. And then you're gonna go to the school that the boys go to. You're gonna all four go to the same school next year. <laughs> Today is Lindsay's day to drive and this is her last day to drive before Christmas break. The next two days they have of school, I will drive and then that last and final day is their Christmas program and we'll both drive. This Christmas tree really kinda just puts a kink in me looking out the window. But you guys, Fred made an appearance today. He is rocking his little glasses and his guitar. Did you see Fred all the way up there, Hazy? Here's your backpack. Get ready to go to school. Lindsay's here. Oh. Oh, there she is. Hazy just barely left, and while she's gone, I'm gonna work on a few things like teacher gifts and get some things done around the house. I've gotta go to the post office today. I also need to run a few Christmas errands. Shh. Just get some stuff done while the kids are gone. Really just kind of counting down these last days that the kids are in school, utilizing that time to get Christmas things done. My days are getting numbered. I think I have today, Friday, and Monday. That's the only days I have left with zero kids. Gotta try and utilize my time. I wanted to show you what I'm doing for the kids' teachers this year. And I found these really really cute cups. I got all of these cups last year at Sam's Club They had like a gold variety pack. They had like a red and green variety pack. That's a little bit more holiday I found all of these amazing cups. I have more of them as well They're just hot cocoa cups and so I put a little bit of this This is just like that crinkle paper. The best place to buy this at is Dollar Tree That's like my favorite favorite place to buy that. It's super cheap and it's actually this is two bags worth So it's quite a bit. I put some of this in the bottom of it inside There is this cute little gift card holder and inside Side of it, I put a Fizz gift card. That's a soda shop by our house. A lot of people go there. And then I just stuck some candies in it with some hot cocoa. I wanted to tell you, these really cute little gift card holders, these are from Target in their dollar shop. There's four of them in a pack. I only paid $1, so I paid a quarter for each little gift card holder. And I feel like they're really cute. They have tons of different designs. These are all just different packs. And there's two different designs in each pack. I stuck a cute little gift card in there, and I'm gonna slide it right down in the middle of some hot cocoa and some candy. Candy, and I think it's gonna turn out really cute. Gives them a little treat. They have a cute little hot cocoa cup with it. And then my kids will write them a card. And then they can hand them this cute hot cocoa cup that they can use on their way to school or whatever. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute and fun. And then they also get a gift card to go get a drink. That's what we're gonna do for our teachers this year. Dance teachers, music teachers, all the teachers, all the people that help out. With the teachers though, I haven't decided I may go get an additional like lunch gift card because I don't know. Our teachers do so much for our kids. They're with our kids every single day, all day long. And I feel like I wanted to do like a thoughtful gift, something that shows them we took time to care about what we gave you because you do so much for our kids. This is what I come up with this year, but I thought of this last year when I found these. They were a really good deal and I thought, oh my gosh, this is such a great gift. If you're able to find things this year after Christmas, you can stock up on and be like, hey, I could use that next year. That'd be a great gift. Do it because things are always marked way down. You just have to store it for the entire year, which is what I did and it came in handy.
got the kids home from school, specifically Brexy Doodle just got home from choir practice. Now, dude, what was special about this choir practice? It was just a chill day, so we just sang songs. It was a chill day because it's your last choir practice before your choir performance, your rehearsal, right? Yeah, and then the next choir just we're gonna have a party. Are oh, you gonna have a party on the next one? Oh my gosh, dude, has choir been pretty awesome for you, do you feel like? Yeah. Because I remember at the beginning you were like, I don't know if I want to do it or not, you weren't sure. And then you went to it and you loved it, right? Mm -hmm. I love it too, and I am very excited to go to your very first ever choir performance. Never seen you sing before except around the house, <laughs> and we are super stoked. You guys are all coming with us on the vlog because we're taking you guys with us to this. It's gonna be fantastic. But today we got some pretty important things to take care of, like getting our advent calendar, piece of chocolate eaten. It's number eleven. You're looking. There's number eleven. What is it, Rexy Doodle? Can't get it out to see. It's I think a it's a stocking. Yeah, it's a stocking. I love it. This is good stocking. It's a delicious stocking. No, Hopefully, it's not, not sold. It. Cool. Well, dessert first, guys, because now we're moving on to dinner. Mom's cooking up something delicious over here. What do we got? Uh, I doubt it. I believe it. You guys. I believe. We have an hour before we have to leave We're heading house. out early tonight. Have you talked about this yet? What we're I doing have now? not. So the reason, you guys, why we are crunched for time while we're doing a quick fix dinner tonight is because we're going to go off to see Santa, the real Santa Claus. Tonight, it's going down. We're going with our cousins, but we're leaving at like 5, 5.15, so it's pretty early time to leave. We want to eat beforehand so the kids aren't hungry. Sometimes there could be a line. We're hoping if we go early enough, we're avoiding the line. But if you guys have been with us long enough, we went to the same place last year. It's called Peterson Farms. And they have what we believe to be the real Santa. He has a direct portal from the North Pole right there. He has like some tube he comes out of. I don't know if that part's true. <laughs> he definitely is a legit real life Santa. We're gonna pack up the kids, get everybody most likely in matching clothes if you know how we bang them. Take them out there, get some pics with Santa, tell them what we want, and just enjoy some Christmas cheer tonight. But first, we gotta eat. We got this pasta, spaghetti type thing cooking here on the oven. It's gonna be delish. Yeah, then we'll head out. I wish it was snowing. We need some kind of snow, guys. There's just no snow to make it feel like it's December, like it's Christmas time. Hopefully, coming up on the forecast, we do have some snow reported as a Maybe. Slight chance. Small chance. We have finally come out to Peterson Family Farms. We are nearly at the North Pole. If you guys didn't know, Peterson Farms is located just south of the North Pole. Just a little bit. <laughs> this is something we did last year and it was such an incredible experience. We had to come back. This is going to be our official visit to Santa Claus. I'm not even kidding. I don't feel like sometimes I, I'm a little dramatic. I tend to exaggerate a little. But it was a magical. A little? <laughs> it was this year's a magical experience. It was it unlike was any other awesome. time. Any other time we visited Santa, you know, you can see him at the mall. You can go to all these different places. But something about the experience here it's quiet it's on a farm you'll see this cat Santa's awesome. kind of in casual clothes it's just a very different experience overall we absolutely love it and with kids loved it and remembered as the time that they met the real Santa and so this year it's a little bit different we're going to take a covered wagon ride to go see Santa we've never been out to the way they're doing it this year so this yeah. is gonna be a little bit different and I'm excited to see it so the kids were very excited to do the hay ride the tractor ride and so yes. last year we waited in line right behind us here it took quite a while you just yeah. kind of stand there because the other nice thing is that Santa takes a lot of time with each person he, he gives you each individual so time Great. Plenty of pictures and everyone gets the same treatment. This year though, instead of waiting in this line, you actually take a wagon ride out. So only yeah. the amount of people on the wagon are the number of people that will be in group. line with you. And so it moves a little more quickly, yeah. but it's also more intimate or like awesome experience. Yes. So it's gonna be amazing. Going down right now. All right guys, dude, that's pretty rad. What is that? Like some wooden swing or something? I like it. That's awesome in a giant Daddy, like tree yard. Gonna oh go, you're gonna go Braxton. <laughs> I'm gonna go pet a goat. You're gonna go pet a goat? Yeah. Hold up, I wanna come see that. Okay. I'm through the door that you come to stay on top. Okay, hold on, I'll go back there right now. Oh, oh look at this little goatee goat. Good buddy. <laughs> You can pet him. He's getting ready to jump. Wait, did he jump, dude? Yeah. What, does he honestly jump? Do you tell me the truth? Yeah, stop it. What, what, oh my gosh, he kind of does come on. What, no, are you nervous, Braxy? I'm getting Braxton. Oh, look, he can smell the popcorn on my fingers, I think. He doesn't bite. <laughs> hey, stand right here, stand right here. So this is the wagon that we jump on that takes us out to Santa, is that the deal? Yes, so it takes us out there. They're gonna tell us a story while we ride. They give you blankets and everything. It's super awesome. It's gonna be great. This group is loading off right now and we're about to load right back on. The kids have made friends with one of the sons of the owner here. His name's Finn. They're just going around hanging out with him. He's jumping in with the goats. He's riding out on the ATVs, so doing all the cute. cool farm stuff. Kids, kids are absolutely loving it. friends everywhere they go, they too. Do. <laughs> Look at how magical this hayride is, you guys. It's fully lit with Christmas lights all around. They've got blankets. Look at that, blankets to sit on, blankets to wrap up and bundle in. Look at these cuties in their warm fur coats. You guys, this is gonna be amazing. Do you know where we're going right now? <laughs> we're gonna go see Santa. <laughs> The 
this is what I got to tell you about. So when I was kind of talking about earlier at home, and I was a little bit joking how they talked about how there's a direct portal right to the North Pole that leads into this farm. Well, guys, I'm not kidding. This is it right here. This is a doorway that they say leads directly to the North Pole. So Santa, when he comes to visit, he comes through this, magically comes to this farm, and when he's done at the end of the night, he goes back home to continue his work at the workshop by going through this magical doorway across this bridge and back to the North Pole. Is that pretty rad, That's dude? That's so cool. <laughs> that is so sick, you guys. So actually, last year we didn't get to get this close to it because last year it was just a train ride that they pointed off to it. You couldn't actually see it. This year they've moved his workshop out here by the door. So his workshops, or not his workshop, what do you call it? Where you go visit him, I guess. His sitting station, if you will. Checking in to meet him right now. Very awesome setting out here. Very cool vibe. About to go meet the real Santa. Pretty cold though. So they have a fun little spot here off to the side where you wait and then you have your name called. And then you get your personal, individual, private time with Santa. They just called our kids up. We're gonna go check it out right now. <laughs> Perfect, that was good. <laughs> What's your name, kiddo? I'm right there. Cool. Okay. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can guess. All the one for Christmas is my... Two for Christmas. Two for All the one for Christmas is my... Two for So I can wish you Merry Christmas. <laughs> Would you like one of these? Yes. Yeah. So this is back into the waiting oh, tank. I don't really know what you call you this. Guys, but the that most magical Santa ever. He is like, he's gotta be the real one. Don't you guys think he's gotta be the real one? So you guys, what Santa does is he gives them this bag and you put a light in it and you put it in your room so Santa knows just where to find you, huh, Brett? Show them. Okay, how does this work? You put that in your room and then he knows. <gasps> he knows guys, just where to find you when yes. it's dark. So we've gotta make sure we light these on Christmas, but the kids were able to tell Santa exactly what they wanted. They were so cute. And normally our kids fight us on pictures tonight. They were amazing. Like they were just like sitting on Santa's lap being so cute and sweet. I thought it was a really special moment. All right, could we do, you just had a chance to meet the Santa, bro. What did you tell him that you wanted? Uh, I told him I wanted a mini rocker. Mini rocker? Guys, that's a late breaking edition. I don't think we've even had in the vlog yet what went down with Kirby Doo's Christmas wish list because Fred or Elf hadn't taken him up yet. He changed from, what was your original thing? So my original thing was a gas powered dirt bike. Gas powered dirt bike, which we had to talk about. He has a real dirt bike. The problem is he wants one he can ride around the neighborhood. There's not really any dirt bike acceptable to ride around the neighborhood without probably causing some problems. So we changed from a dirt bike to a scooter. A pro scooter. So we went downstairs, pulled his letter to Santa out of the mailbox before Fred took it back to him, changed it to a pro scooter, and then in that same day, decided to change his mind again to a mini rocker. So a mini rocker is this sick bike. I'll try and throw a picture of it on the screen so you guys know what we're talking about. It's a sick bike, big old handlebars, big fat wheels. You can do some sick tricks on it. So just before Fred took it, literally before the night that he took them back to the North Pole, crew pulled his list out again, scratched off his second thing, and put down his third thing, and now it's locked in. Mini rocker, that's what he's getting for Christmas. Asking for for Christmas. I love that you do that. Oh, I love that. We've tried to teach them that it's not what I'm getting, it's what I'm asking for. He loves looking at that gap. Look at that, dude. That is gonna be so perfect. <laughs> I love it, love it. Rex Siegel, you just had a chance to sit with Santa. Now, I remember last year, he messed with you and he asked you to trade him glasses. Do you remember that? And you actually traded him last year, but this year, I think he did it again. But what was he joking about this year? Um, my teeth. Your two front teeth, he had you sing the song, All I Want For Christmas Is My Two Front Teeth, which was so cute. And Brexton, you were so awesome to sing along, which, by the way, that's a reminder, tomorrow, Brexton's first ever choir yes, concert, you guys. He's gonna be singing tomorrow. We want you guys to all come and check that out. But dude, what did you think about your meeting with Santa? Do you think it went pretty well? Yeah. Do you feel like that's probably the real one. Mm -hmm. I feel like he is. I have a frozen Barbies too. <laughs> Breaks a doodle. I think you might get your air hog that you want, which by the way, guys, if you don't know what that is, that's a cool thing. You shine a laser like on the wall and it's supposedly the car drives yeah, up the wall. Yeah, and it drives up the wall and on the ceiling. Wow, dude. If Santa's elves can make that, they can make anything. So that's what's on Brexy's list and two front teeth. We'll see which one he gets this Christmas. Love you. What did you tell Santa that you wanted? I wanted um, frozen two Barbies. Two frozen Barbies? I think that's coming down a little bit from saying everything. 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 <laughs> how was it, bro? Meeting with Santa, sitting on his lap. You sitting on his lap, you sat next to him. You're kind of getting yeah. too big for sitting on his lap, but how was it? It was fun, I liked it. What did you ask for? What did you tell him? Uh, Nintendo Switch Lite. Ooh, did he say he could pull that off? I think so. Fingers crossed, get your little light ready, put it in that bag, and then he'll know where to find you, Got okay? Got it right here. Time this thing perfectly. We just wrapped up with Santa, just finished giving him our wish list, and just then the carriage comes back, the tractor, what do you call this thing, dude? The wagon, the wagon, that's the word. The wagon comes back. We get back on for a magical ride back to the farm, and then you're done, you guys. Totally awesome, magical, festive, perfect evening tonight at Peters and Farm. What up, Finn? <laughs> We 
we are home, got on some sweatpants where we were freezing cold. Yes, full blown comfies, you guys, because it's that kind of a night. We're supposed to get snow for the next three <gasps> days. Yes. So I feel like it's starting to like really be cold. How many days till Christmas? Are we under two weeks? Today's the 11th. Guys, so we need some snow. We need some Christmas snow. We need snow. snow. We need and it to bring Santa. It was a magical Santa. night. It was. It's one of my favorites. It was just like it puts you in the mood, the spirit. We've been having a little bit of a struggle getting into that spirit. I think it's, it's probably just really the weather. Hard. It's been different this year. I don't know what it is. I'm a struggle bus. But that was one of those nights that it just made you feel all those good holiday feels. It was really amazing. It was just like our kids were so cute and so sweet. You guys should go check out at This Is How We Bing Them, oh. our Instagram page. But not only that, one of you guys know each one of our kids have their own Instagram. Make sure you check them all out. We put pictures of them on their own Instagrams yes. and stuff. So, you guys, Instagram stories were just as cute as can be tonight. We love you so much. Thank you so much. And stay tuned because tomorrow is Brexton's very first ever choir concert. We're so excited for that, you guys. And he's excited, which he's makes excited. me excited. I can't wait. Come back. It's going to be cuteness overload. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Got awake.